A reminder now of tonight's main news. More than a million Americans are evacuating their homes as Hurricane Rita heads for the coast of Texas. Charles Kennedy is hit back at his critics at the Liberal Democrats conference, accusing them of being full of themselves. And Kate Moss has issued an apology tonight following recent allegations about her drug use. She said she accepted there were various personal issues she needed to address. The headlines in London tonight. The parents of a teenager stabbed to death in Ilford appeal for changes to knife laws. The search is on for the right person to head the team staging the London Olympics. And there have been calls to bring Concord out of retirement in honour of the 2012 Games. Fifty years ago today, the Queen attended a banquet at the Guildhall in London to mark the launch of what's now become a British institution. It is, of course, ITV, and today is our 50th birthday. Over to Guildhall. Good luck, all. Here we go. Take it, Master Control. The channel went on air at quarter past seven and so followed five decades of bringing entertainment, news and documentaries to living rooms across the country. And to help us celebrate our 50th birthday, it's been a great honour to have Gordon Honeycomb with us today. How long since you were at ITN, Gordon? I joined in May 1965 and I left ITN in 1977. It's a long time. Is it very different now to how it was? Yes, it's hugely different, <laughs> yes, and technically so uh, in, in particular. Well, I know you've put together a package of your memories, so uh, let's take a look down memory lane. 40 years ago, the swinging 60s, Tom Jones was at number one and I gained my number one job at ITN. I was then age 28 and earning £25 a week. I was thrown in at the deep end reading the early evening news. All that time ago and bizarrely similar circumstances as today. A hurricane with winds up to 160 miles an hour is heading for the Louisiana coast. Half a minute to transmit. I remember it was only my second time on air. There was a fire in Telesini and the order of the stories completely changed. We had no earpieces then, so I had to rely on the floor manager telling me what to read next. One the live pictures of Neil Armstrong walking on the moon were mind-blowing. I went home and looked up at the night sky thinking how incredible that there's actually a man on the moon. My first historic death was that of Winston Churchill. After announcing it, I stood in the crowd in Whitehall and watched the funeral cortege pass by. But the worst tragedy I had to read about was on a quiet weekend in 1977. And some of us were in the green room when the copy taster rushed in. Two jumbo jets had collided and crashed in Tenerife. Few details were then known, but by the time we did the early evening news, the full horror was revealed. 577 people died that day. It was, in a way, I suppose, a privilege to be among the first to know what was happening in the world and to be the first to tell people all about it. In our later bulletins later this evening. Some amazing stories. Do you miss it? Yes, I miss the buzz, the excitement, the being one-to-one -one with the camera, yes, and the viewer. And you live in Australia now. What do you do? Uh, I do occasional voiceovers, and I have performed and in films, apart from other things, and I uh, do very poor imitations of Prince Charles and David Attenborough. <laughs> and have you enjoyed your trip down memory lane to ITN again? Yes, very much. I'm just wondering when we can do it again. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been a great honour to meet you. It was a great pleasure. That is it from us here. See you later. Uh, Gordon's over on the News Channel in just a few minutes to answer your calls and any emails you might have, so uh, don't go away. Bye-bye. For the big guide to properties in Spain, check the Atlas. This place is really impressive. I know. Atlas have got a huge selection of new and resale properties, ready for you to view. And the prices are pretty good too. 
Furnished properties start from just £60,000. What a relief about the legal side. We can guide you on where to obtain financial and legal advice. It's the little extra touches that make all the difference. Atlas International can supply your furniture in whatever style you require. And we can help you receive a rental income from your property. It's good to know that help is at hand even after we've bought the place. Our extensive after-sales team is always there to help you. If you